Hello everyone, so we've got some adventures. I've actually already arrived in my hotel because I forgot to do an intro for this video. So we've got quite a lot of adventures going on in the next couple of days. I hope you enjoy these vlogs. We've got an event tonight, we've got an event tomorrow as well. So I'm gonna leave past me to explain everything and I will see you later in this vlog. Bye for now. So we are off to London today. For those that didn't already know, I have actually moved out of London. You would of course know this if you were following my social media, so do make sure to go check out my Twitter or TikTok. But yes, we now live in a small town called Felixstowe on the Suffolk coast. So to get down to London for today's event, we need to take a train. We actually need to take a couple of trains. We're gonna take a train over to Ipswich and then from there directly into London. So what are we doing today? What are we doing over the next few days? Well, tonight we have Vonage Dev City, which is a event that Vonage themselves are putting on. I will be giving a talk there. And then tomorrow and the next day, we have DroidCon London, which is of course my home DroidCon. And it's gonna be an absolutely amazing event. We're a sponsor, we've got a booth. There's gonna be loads going on. So let's grab some trains and head down to London. So my first train doesn't take very long at all um, and then we are into Ipswich station which is definitely a bigger station. There are I think four separate tracks so we need to find where our train to London is actually departing from. Of course I'm almost certain that it means going over to the other side of the station as that's normally where it goes from. But here you go while the last few vlogs have featured jet setting across the Atlantic this time we are traveling on a train through the British countryside into London. So, you know, a little bit of everything going on here. But anyway, yes, it was on the other side of the station. So hopped over the bridge and got ready to take the train. And I think I'll leave you here now with a little bit of train footage. Hopefully you enjoy trains and traveling on them. I, it's very comfortable. It's better than taking the car that's for sure so let's head down to london and get to our hotel and just kind of take a minute before we head to dev city which i have a feeling is going to be a very interesting event i can't say i would have ever considered bingo being exciting and interesting but apparently it is and that is what we're going to be doing so let's go see what happens at bingo And before too long, we were coming into central London. The train from Ipswich comes into Liverpool Street, which is a nice central train station as far as I'm concerned. I quite like it. And we did actually get some quite cool shots of some of the new Elizabeth Line trains as we were coming into the station as well, because this is where the Elizabeth Line does its one of its weird little switchovers and you have to change trains. So it was kind of a nice little train spotting perk as well I guess but after that we hopped over to the hotel so we were staying at the travel lodge near Liverpool Street because frankly it's the only place that was a sensible price uh, but hello it did seem quite clean quite tidy you know it's a very basic it's a travel lodge you know what you're getting and sometimes that's quite nice there's no surprises comfortable bed decently clean shower although the shower did only have one setting which was hot so hopefully you liked your showers hot <laughs> but other than that you know the room was a good size it was I'd like to say a nice comfortable double bed um, they had some towels some amenities it was a, a uh, iron if you really wanted to do some ironing I guess the only downside to this room was well 
the view. Uh, some nice tea and coffee at least. But outside was an office building, which I could see directly into, so they could see directly me as well. So that was fun, but other than that, a good room. But I only really had time to drop off my bags and it was time to get over to the event to help set up. So what is this evening's event? What is Vonage Dev City? Well, it was a meetup event that we were aiming to get in lots of different people that are interested in communication APIs and just have a good evening really. We were going to be doing some bingo with at Dabbers. Uh, we had some interesting disco ball dancers, which was an interesting choice. Uh, but there we go. And then uh, we also did some talks. We had food, we had drinks, and really it was just a way for people to meet up together and chat. Chris kicked us off with a presentation on what Vonage was, which I will leave you in his capable hands. So, uh, tonight we've got a couple things going on. Uh, first, obviously, welcome to everybody here. Uh, we'll give a, a quick spiel about Vonage, so if you'd hope to skip that, sorry, I have slides, you're going to have to sit through them. Um, and then we will have a fireside chat uh, with uh, one of our guests. And then we, we acquired another company called Talkbox, uh, which is our video API. So we've been working with WebRTC and standards for years. Uh, Talkbox was a great complement to a bunch of our APIs. So we acquired them. Uh, and a lot of that stuff you can still Yeah, so uh, Lawrence, why don't you go and tell us more about yourself? Uh, yeah, so my name is Lawrence. Uh, I'm 31. I live in East London. I've been with uh, just like both the ease of the APIs and the range of, uh, of APIs that you offered, but I think a lot of it's been the support we've generally received. It's been super easy to, to get in touch with people because, you know, however much documentation there is, there's always things you want to get into further, especially because we've implemented them within healthcare, so we need to check stuff like where's the data being stored, and then, uh, you know, normally there'll be some extra... And after Chris, I gave a talk on Kotlin Multi-Platform and how we've been using that in the client SDKs, which is actually a talk I plan to give more often throughout next year. So hopefully you'll see that at an Android event near you. But after all that, it was time to do some bingo. And I'm just going to leave you with this entrance. Three rounds of 35 for bingo. But also, ladies and gentlemen, can I, can I welcome to the stage, please? Your bingo callers tonight. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Shifty Shaz and Patsy Prizes! So the rules of the game were pretty simple. It was bingo, and that we were playing through either a, a row or the full house. And we had a lot of really great prizes. We had the top prize was a £2,000 holiday voucher. We had Lego, we had uh, some AirPods, we had loads of stuff going on. And it wasn't too long before we had our first winner. Here we go. Good evening. This is so easy, I can read. Good evening, Emma from Britain. Round of applause for Emma from Britain, everybody. Ooh. Emma! What? Oh, you're from Twitter. Fair enough. Emma Britton from Twitter, everybody. I know you really see. Right, like Emma. Emma! Where are you from, Emma? Hey, there she is. <coughs> Score! Alright! Funny girl. Nice. Where are you from, Emma? Manchester! Alright, we got Manchester in the house, people! Yes, a, a drunk lady in the corner with an Aperol script. Of course it's Manchester. <laughs> there we go. Filming you. This will be on, I don't know, Periscope or whatever it is these days. Now then, maybe a TikTok. Who knows? But Twitter's the 
Twitter's still the game, isn't it? Twitter's still the big game in town. Not joking, right, but is she, is she a winner? Is she who's telling me? Is Shaz telling me? Ten shots? And of course, throughout the evening, we had a lot of dancing, there was a DJ, there was a lot of fun alongside the bingo. It was a really great, but here's a couple more winners as well. Oh, yeah! Seth. The right end of the tram line! Yeah! <laughs> I know it's Where's Bridge Bit? East, West, South? Elmer's and Beckenham! Alright! The big Tesco's! Elm Tree Tavern! I know! Weekends! A little little chip! Little pop up to throw me at the weekends! Let's go to Pals down here from. So of course the winner was decided by a dance off. How else would you decide the final winner? Amazing. Well, it's the next morning now. Uh, last night was a huge success. I've already started to lose my voice um, and I've now got two days of conference to do. So that's gonna be interesting. However, absolute success. It was a really great event. I hope you've enjoyed kind of an insight into it. It was a little weird, it was a little wild and definitely nothing like I've ever done before. I can safely say it was the first time I gave a talk next to a big bingo ball. So there we go, but I'm gonna leave that one here for now and I will see you in the next one because today we're heading to Droycon.